All right, it's going to be the event in Arlington this weekend. A thousand people watching folks play video games. Now, does that sound weird? Well, if you ask the fans, it is the best type of entertainment. Here's Sebastian Robertson. In just a few hours, this venue promises to draw hundreds. Because they grew up playing these games, just like kids grow up playing basketball, and they look up to these people who are really good. Fans showing up not to play video games, a moment you've all been waiting for. rather to watch a live feed of professionals going to battle in a virtual world. Esports Stadium in Arlington calls itself the largest dedicated esports facility in North America, a relatively new industry that's quickly gone mainstream. In fact, colleges across the country, even right here in North Texas, are offering scholarships to gamers the same way they do for student athletes. You know, it's getting to the point where which colleges don't have a varsity program or are at least looking into one. A sport that's proving lucrative for its top competitor. Take superstar Richard Belvin, best known as Ninja. Ninja's making a million dollars a month playing Fortnite. One million dollars. Yes. <laughs> That is, that is not an over-exaggeration, that is pretty accurate. You may not understand why or how, but that's okay. Jackson Hyde, a sixth grader who's a lifelong gamer, is here to clarify. However, like many people watch them, they get monetization, which is the money that they earn. For Hyde, it's just not that complicated. It's a pretty easy career, like, you just need to get a bunch of cameras set up, you're like, what you're gonna do and then just start broadcasting and then post it on the internet and a bunch of people will watch it and you'll get money from it. Makes perfect sense, right? In Arlington, I'm Sebastian Robertson. Hmm, you know, we, 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 we make a lot of fun about that, but there's a lot of money to be made and a lot of people involved in that, and that uh, looks like that's, part, that's really part of the future.